Hi, I'm here with Forestry England going on a, one of their well-being trails. And you can't do anything more well-being than being in nature. It's something I never do, but already I can, you know, I can feel the vibes. It's natural. It's where we're happiest. This is where humans flourish because trees will never criticize you the way we do to ourselves. And there's forests all over the UK, so there's no excuse not to go to one. Hi Ruby, Hi. thank you for joining me for a walk in the forest today. I'm really excited that I get to do our wellbeing trail with you. Tell me a bit about how you got into mindfulness. I study this stuff because I have depression, so it's my obsession. So they always say, go into the forest. You know, the cortisol comes down, the stress starts to cool down, the red mist comes down in your head, and you listen. You know, you listen, you smell, you look, and that's healthy. Of course, I never come out here. I never come out here, I should learn. Even knowing all of this. I know, just get out of my bed and go to the <laughs> forest, look at a tree. It can be hard though, can't it, when you're in a low place, getting out the house and getting somewhere. There's a lot of things to overcome. And I think what I like about coming to Forestry England sites is you've got the way marked walking trails, you can follow the arrows, it kind of removes some of that anxiety. And once you get out into the forest, you never regret it. And then this is fantastic that you've got a sign that says, allow yourself to pause among the trees. I mean, that's mindfulness. It's all about being aware and pausing. You know, it's not sitting on a gluten-free cushion. It's, it's, it's going, okay, I know where I am. I can hear rustling. I can see sights, I can smell things, that's mindfulness. And so that's what you're doing. And it says, what can you see, things you can touch. Just listen to silence. I never listen to silence. Well, you know, everybody thinks mental is mental, but mental is physical. You know, your body is what releases the stress hormone. I always say mental and physical is a onesie. Yeah. So if you take care of your mind, you take care of your body. This sign is really inspired by all the people who use forests to do all sorts of different movement, whether it's running, walking, cycling, or something like yoga. All right. And then like reach out your arms to be a, a tall tree. tree. But again, it's not about I'm competing with you because I'm going to stay longer than you are. But you see, if, if you tune into what that felt like, then that's moving mindfully. And then I'm feeling all the stones on the ground that are going to hurt like hell. And then you feel that pose. I wish they wouldn't call it mindfulness. They should call it training your awareness, your attention. And then saying, I know why I'm doing it. And you could do yoga, but usually in yoga, I'm competing with the 17-year-old. And in the forest, nobody can see you. Exactly. Nobody can tell you know, on you that you stopped in the forest. Exactly. But if you stopped in the middle of a city, they'd probably call the police. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the trees aren't going to judge you. Nobody's judging. <laughs> I know I'm sounding gooey, but you get that way in the forest. Yeah. And nobody will ever hear this. Apart from the people watching this. No, let's just, <laughs> let's ignore them and just look at the trees. <laughs> 